Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through setting up Things 3, which is an awesome task manager and my task manager of choice. I'm gonna take it from zero, so a clean install of the app, all the way through to having some areas set up, some projects, uh, the settings for the app, all tuned in to exactly what's gonna work for you. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do that the right way. I'm gonna give you an idea for how I use it, and hopefully that'll inspire you to get something that works for your use case as well. Obviously, we have different jobs, we have different priorities in our lives, but I think that what I'm gonna show you today is pretty universal and will help most people using the app. So let's just jump into the screen share and I'll show you how to get going with Things 3. Okay, so this is Things 3. Uh, it's pretty sparse by default. Uh, the app will ask if you wanna see some example projects and tasks that it can put in there and you can kind of get up and running. Um, we're just gonna do it all kind of on our own. So the general concept of Things is you're gonna spend most of your time in the Today view and the inbox is where new tasks will go and then you can sort them wherever you'd like. So it's really based on the GTD methodology. Um, which we're not gonna get into at all, any of that, um, but we're gonna kind of show you what you can do here. Uh, so the inbox is where new things go before you sort them. The today view is the things that you're gonna spend the most time looking at, and it's where all your tasks that are due today go. You can see upcoming, so you can see what's going to come up. There's nothing yet. Things that don't have a due date, so they're just due anytime, and things that are someday tasks can go here. Honestly, I don't use anytime and someday at all. <laughs> most of my stuff has a date on it, so they go in today and upcoming. And then your logbook is just a log of things that you've uh, previously completed. But I like to check the settings whenever I get a new app. So let's use the keyboard shortcut command comma. You can also use this button down here uh, to do it. Uh, but yeah, basically the d there's not many settings and they're mostly fine by default. Um, so a couple things you may wanna check is group to do's in the today list by project or area. I'll turn that on and you'll see why in a few minutes. Uh, Things Cloud is a free uh, account you can set up that will sync your tasks between different apps. So I highly recommend using this. It's an incredibly reliable, incredibly fast sync service. And again, it's totally free uh, with your purchase of the app. So turn this on. I'm not gonna turn it on here because I'm not using my real account. Um, Quick Entry uh, is a really cool thing. So if you enable this, there's a keyboard shortcut that you can customize to bring up this anywhere in the system where you can create a new task assign it to a project, give it a due date, tags, create a checklist, set deadlines, all that stuff from this little modal anywhere in the system. That's really cool, so definitely turn that on. And then there's also quick entry with autofill. And so if I enable this, it's gonna prompt me to go to the web and download an app that'll help it do this because of sandboxing issues, it can't do it on its own. It's a whole thing, um, but this is kind of cool. It'll basically make it so that with the separate shortcut, if you're looking at a website, it'll pull in the name of the website, which will be the task name. It'll pull in the URL, which will be in the description. So if you want to save a website for later, um, you can do that with things with this keyboard shortcut and not have to copy and paste into the task entry. Anyway, pretty nice. Quick entry can save to your inbox by default or today by default, but it's just going to be what it defaults to. You can set the date, uh, you can set this, like all that's there. So. Um, doesn't really matter. Reminders is pretty rad. Uh, so if you want to pull in any reminders that go into the Apple Reminders app, you can do that automatically, well, semi-automatically. Um, so let's go ahead and enable this. And this is going to show you a list of all of your reminders areas, I think they're called. Um, and so basically it is whenever a new to-do goes into this uh, reminder section in your inbox, in the Reminders app, um, it'll show it in the inbox. So we'll see that in a second. And then if you have calendars set up on your Mac, you can give things access to them and then turn this on and then choose which ones you want it to show. And it'll show those in the app. So you can see I've got one at 4 p.m. today uh, to run. So that's gonna show up in the app. There's a few more. So those are really all you need to set. There's really not that much. It's not super customizable. You're really going to use it how things wants you to use it or you're not gonna use it at all. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of see this is on my calendar. Um, it wants to control my calendar. I'm not going to allow that. Oh boy. So um, I actually don't use that, but it's just nice to see calendar events in your task manager sometimes. If you go to upcoming, you can see I've got something on Saturday. Uh, Tunic is coming out on Tuesday next week. And yeah, so there's just, and then there's a lot of stuff in October. <laughs> so um, that's the calendar stuff. And then reminders. So if I open up reminders, you can see I've actually already created one for 3.30 today. Um, and so basically that one, if we go over to things and go to the inbox, you can see, ooh, from reminders, buy, dog food, buy new dog food today at 3.30 p.m. 
And so I can go ahead and import that. And you can see it was removed from reminders uh, in the app. But now I have this new to-do uh, that is due today at 3.30, and it's buy new dog food. So that's pretty rad. So we have our first task in uh, into our today view. So we're not going to touch this yet. We want to create some areas first. So that's the gist of the app. Um, but let's go ahead and start to create some areas. So this is I find is really helpful is you want to create some areas for the different things that you're responsible for. And so I'm going to create three areas right now. So you want to go down here to new list and you can do new projects or new areas. So a project is more for a defined set of things that you need to do that might have an end date. It doesn't necessarily have to have an end date, but might. Um, and then areas are an area of your life. So an area could be work and a project could be the login page that we're designing, right? So let's create a new area for home. So we're gonna call it home and I'm actually going to add a house emoji here. I like putting an emoji next to my areas. And now I have an area called home. So all my tasks that are related to the house will go here. I uh, will do another area uh, for not officer, let's do office. So this is gonna be work, I have a work area. And then I'm gonna do one more area for uh, video camera, we'll do YouTube. So here are my three areas, and I can drag and drop these around. So actually I want the house stuff at the top, then work, then YouTube. So cool. So now I have three areas, and I can put tasks in those areas. So this buy new dog food is a home-related task, right? So I can drag it over here, or I could remove it from home, um, or I can go over here and I can use this button to move it to an area. We'll select home. There you go. So now it's grouped under my home tasks. So pretty easy, um, but you probably want a little bit more. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to make a couple tasks in the inbox and then we'll rejoin in a second. Okay, so I've created a few tickets here, or tickets, geez, tasks in my inbox, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of organize them into different areas, right? So I need to email Chris about the login page. Uh, I'm using just keyboard shortcuts to select multiples. I'm trying to pick all the work ones first. I think those are all the work ones, so let me drag those to work. Uh, we're going to pick up the dog's prescription, mow the lawn, get coffee. These are all home things, and then these are both YouTube things. So these are all taken care of. They're put into areas, and they're out of my inbox, but they're not in the today view yet because they're not due any specific day. So I can go to my area, and I can see uh, what tasks I have in here, and anything due today has a star next to it, work, and YouTube. But I think we can make this a little better, right? So uh, let's say, uh, let's go to work, where this is a good example. Um, I have this login thing, right? And so these two things are related to that, but this performance review is a separate thing. So let's go ahead and create a project. So a project could be um, login page. Login page redesign. Cool, so now we have a project for login page redesign. These two, instead of just going in the area, they can go in the project inside the area. Um, so when I go to work, I can see I've got a project under here and I have just general tasks. And then if I look at just this project, I can see the tasks that I have to do. And let's add another one, uh, ship the page. So now there's three tasks in here. None of them have dates. Let's go ahead and assign some dates. And again, we're doing all of this at once. So, uh, or actually, let me do one more for the things video. Let's do a new project, uh, things three video. And again, these are both for that project. So there we go. But when are we gonna see these? We have to like go into the home thing and see like, when do I, like, when are these due? Like, what do I have to do? And this list could get very long. So let's start assigning dates to things. So pick up the dog's prescription. You can double click on any of these and select the calendar, and then you can select a date and then add a reminder time, or you can just use natural language to type out uh, this. So this is gonna be, we'll say Saturday, so sat, um, and we'll do 8 a.m. So you can kind of see it's also showing me like what it's gonna do. So Saturday, September 24th at 8 a.m., hit enter. There we go, so that's got a time. So now on Saturday, that'll show up in my today view, and now it moves down to an upcoming section. Uh, mow the lawn, that should be today. And I'm actually gonna do a different thing. If you're just selecting any item, uh, you can hit Command S to bring up that same date picker. 
Uh, so I can go ahead and just say that's going to be today. It doesn't matter when I do it today. I just should do it today. Get coffee with Joe, command S again, and we'll select Sunday for that. Cool. So my home ones are organized. Work, fill up my performance review. Let's say I need to do it by the end of uh, tomorrow. And for the login page, email Chris uh, and get an update on 2FA. Let's do that today. Uh, and then ship the page. Let's say that's due at the end of November, October. There we go. Due on Halloween. Finally, YouTube, we have this Things 3 video. So work on the video today. Um, let's actually set a time. So let's do uh, 1 p.m. There you go. And then post the Things 3 video. That's going to be, we'll make it a weekend. No, let's do it a Friday video. So let's we'll say anytime on Friday, I can post the video. Okay, so now I have dates on all of my tasks and they're kind of organized this way. And now if I go to my today view, this is suddenly much more practical, much more useful, right? So I can see my home tasks are right here. I need to mow the lawn, I need to buy new dog food today, and there's a little bell next to this one saying there's a specific time I said I would do it. So that's nice. Um, and I have the login page redesign project with a couple tasks I need to do, the Things 3 video as well. So it organizes them nicely. So if I go back to my settings, and remember I checked this box, if I uncheck this, this is what your today view looks like. And this might work for you, but it doesn't work for me. I really like the organization you get uh, with that enabled so that you're able to, it's, it's just easier for me to kind of see what I'm working on. Like when I'm at work, I can see this is the project I should be focusing on. I don't need to worry about the stuff under the home tab just yet. So yeah, that's actually it for the broad strokes of what I do in the app. This is a simplified version of what I've got going on uh, in my actual one. Maybe I'll throw a, scre a screenshot uh, on screen right now with a little bit of masking to not show everything <laughs> that I've got in there. But this is the general concept that I use personally uh, with things. And it's great. And if I go to upcoming, I can see an idea for what I've got going on, right? So I've got this going on tomorrow, this on Saturday, my calendar events here, which is great. Now let's say maybe I want to delay something. The great thing about things three is everything's draggable. You can drag things all over the place. So maybe I don't think I'm going to have this video done tomorrow. I'm going to have it done Saturday. So let me just drag it to Saturday. There you go. So now it's due Saturday. Or maybe I think I'm going to have it done today. Let me drag it to today. And now it's in today's thing. So that's pretty great. Um, one thing you may be annoyed by that I'll just say up front. So let's say buy new dog food is at 3.30 p.m. Mow the lawn. Uh, we'll make this at 4 p.m., right? You would think <laughs> that since this is at 3.30, this is at 4 o'clock, that this one would be below, like mow the lawn would be below buy new dog food. That's not how it works. There's a priority system that's basically just, it doesn't care about the time that they're due. So if you want to have things sequentially listed in the order you have to do them, you do have to manually sort them yourself. And that's kind of annoying. And I would really like if there was a reminder on these, it would show you the time. It would be really nice to not have to double click into them to see the time remaining. This isn't really me trying to uh, add product features uh, to things. I just wanted to say that it does annoy me. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, from here on, when you basically create a new task, um, and so let me go ahead and like bring up reminders. So reminders is at the front of the screen. Let's make it huge, so I'm totally covering things. If I use that keyboard shortcut to bring up the quick entry menu, I can say, um, uh, well, I don't even know. Uh, Stop <laughs> stuttering in video. Um, doesn't really matter, but let's make this at 5 p.m. today. Uh, we can add a tag. Uh, so this could be like video or YouTube. I don't really use tags, but if you want to tag things, you can. Um, you can create checklists. Uh, first thing, second thing, third thing, um, zero thing. And then you can actually use these drag handles to drag things around. And then these are little things you can do there. We'll do that in the YouTube general. Save it. Quit reminders. And of course, you can see, um, there we go. Stop stuttering a video. And then I can check these off as I go. And boom, once I'm done, just check it off. And it disappears. And now it's in the logbook. Um, so yeah. Another nice little thing about uh, how this works is like this login page redesign has three tasks in it, right? 
So as I'm working throughout the day, um, I'm gonna email Chris, I'm going to get that update on two-factor authentication I wanted. And you'll notice that this little circle here is filling in. So as you complete tasks in a project, it's going to fill in that circle. And so let's move this to today. Let's say we're just shipping it today. Um, so let's say we're shipping the page redesign. Now the circle's complete. And if I actually go over here, I can check this. The whole project is complete and it goes away. And so now the whole project is in the logbook. I can still see it in the future and everything, but it kind of clears itself out from here. So now it's not a thing cluttering my sidebar. So the sidebar is only currently active things. Same idea with this things three video. I can post it, I can work on it. There we go. And then I can go ahead and mark it as complete. And now that project's gone. So now I'm just down to areas and that's great. So I can just go ahead and go through here um, and add new projects as I want, add new areas if I want, but that's kind of how I get the app set up. I hope this was interesting. Um, I think that for a specific audience, this will be interesting. Um, for another audience, it'll be very boring, but uh, this is kind of how I use the app and how I find it. Um, I just like how I can drag things around. I like how it looks. Um, I'd love it if it had better accessibility features. Like I think that if your vision is good, it's great, um, but this text can be pretty small and there's no way to increase it. Even if your like device settings have larger text size, it's not gonna care about that. So that's a little annoying too. But again, I'm not doing this video for feature requests. I thought it is a thing that I hope things adds in the future, even though it's been many years and they uh, don't seem to want to do that. Um, yeah, so that's really it. Um, Control F if you ever wanna find things, um, we could do things three, and now you can find all those. They're all in the logbook, but yeah, that's really it uh, before we go any further, but that's really how you use things three. Um, I showed you on the Mac, but this is basically the same everywhere. The iPad version, the uh, iPhone version, all the stuff is pretty darn consistent across all three apps. And that's pretty great. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, drop a like down below and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.